Oh, all right, welcome everyone. Sorry for the delay. I, uh, well, lost my voice for a couple days, but we're back with High Fleet Campaign. And <clears throat> just as a recap, we have two Thunder Mark IVs that have just taken the Dawn over in the west, and the rest of our task force, which is rather large with the Bonafide and Neva flagship, is headed over to the northeast. Uh, we're splitting up a little bit. We're going to be refueling for just a moment here while we do some rescue operations at Dadan. So right now just securing fuel tanks and uh, if you are somewhat new to this game, <clears throat> this is something that in my own inexperience as well I have learned. It's often a very good idea to grab some fuel from the wreckage of these towns. Not only does this save you on fuel cost, you actually refuel while proceeding with rescue operations which will save you quite a bit of time in the future. So. Uh, every bit of fuel we get now is less that we need to take once we've actually entered the town. Um, for right now, we're just prioritizing first fuel, then ammo, because ammo is expensive, which means, um, well, we can sell it for good money. And now we're focusing on the radio room, because I don't want to have to deal with decrypting shenaniganry and not being able to... Uh, yeah, okay, fine, 14 died. Um, not being able to decrypt where the enemy is. So we get our first scrap there, and we can either dismantle the 2A37 or search the crew cabins. But we're going to go for the 2A37 because the crew cabins are a hazardous environment, and we are still refueling our main fleet, which I didn't really want to do all of this, um, but it, we need all of that fuel to get the Neva up to. Uh, this fuel depot at Eridu, which is basically our next strike location. Um, so we're just going to <clears throat> let that go by and now open up at Dadan. So our task force is... Uh, ooh, I didn't realize we had all five of these ships here. It's been a while. We actually have two Thunder Mark IVs and the Flying Suitcase uh, Negotiator class ship as well. Double Skylark. I think I'm intending to split these two up. Uh, we're going to land the Thunder Mark IV. There's no pressing need to do this. Um, only 61 damage. But I want to get the practice in because so I still am relatively new to this game. And uh, I think it would be... I don't know. I mean, every little bit of bonus that you can squeeze out in a game like this is usually worthwhile. So... Uh, why complain about losing by inches later if we don't go for every inch that we can right now? So, I need to figure out how to come in with a little bit less angular momentum. But I think that was okay. Can we take a little bit of... why are we... Okay. I guess that was fine. Probably. I'm always a little bit surprised by this sort of stuff, but let's just go to Shipworks and repair. Yes, repair all of it please. 0.3 hours is not bad. <clears throat> okay, if we go to Supplies, um, I want to split these two up. So I want to have one Skylark go to a COD and one to Zyram, and we'll basically just move up both sides of here and reconvene at the, uh, whatever, I can't read that at the moment. N-O-H-K-U-D-U, no kudu, fuel storage. So let's see how much we need for that. Uh, Zyrom isn't all that much. Getting to a COD takes quite a bit more, so we will fill up just like that. And now if we go over to ammunition, we do have 10 pieces of incendiary, six laser guided for 130 mil, which is not something that I use. So we'll go ahead and sell those. And if you can see right there, that's just that's so much money off of selling that fuel. So there is a Tarkon here. He has a Paladin Mark II attack frigate. I'm not sure I'm interested in this. Um, but let's see if we can even get him first. So, <clears throat> a group of people from the ship approach you. They're all dressed in military uniforms, but do not appear to be armed. A tall Alim walks ahead of the rest. His face is open to the elements, and a sword shows its hilt from behind his back. All signs of a man of noble birth. Omar Khan. Ah, right. Uh, in the name of Ishu, peace be with you. He's a true believer. Okay, we have two. And we must give him the small pot. 
Okay. He's very happy about that. And we have him up to uh, six, which is, I guess, plus two. Uh, groups of three. And we're looking for allies to wage war on Kiva. We want to meet other Tarkans. There's one to the northeast of there. It's quite far. Okay. So we have Omar Khan. He's joined us. We also have his Paladin Mark II ship, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. If we go over to Shipworks. <clears throat> yes, Paladin Mark II. Right, so this is a missile carrier, which I think has questionable usefulness at best. Uh, the Mark II 180 Sarmat is the twin 180mm. There's definitely worse. Uh, but, I don't know. Firepower is a little underwhelming. Could be useful. I'd almost wish we'd gotten it with the Neva. I'd like to keep it with that part of the fleet to provide additional long range firepower if needed. And as it is, these things are basically just burning cash the second you get into a fight. And the fuel consumption is pretty high. I mean, it's almost as bad as a negotiator. It's five times that of a Thundermark IV. Well, not quite five times, but still. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, sell the Paladin Mark II completely. Although I might take its... Should I save the missiles? It might be smart. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Why do the smart thing? Let's just sell it. 38,790. Now we're floating in cash, which is pretty nice, and we can maybe keep the next ship that we find. So we'll exit here, we'll exit there. We're now fueling at <coughs> both places. We are back up to one intel at Nimrud, so we should make sure to use that uh, before continuing on. So, okay. Our fueling will be done at the dawn here in just a minute. Good. There's the pause, and now let's split this up. So Skylark, two Thundermark fours. Let me just make sure I do have the range I think I do. Yep. The negotiator, so we'll send these guys off to uh, Zairam. And we'll send the other two over to Akkad. So we'll unpause there. And let's let them get a move on. Let's see, it looks like the Thunders will be first at Zairam. Which is also an intelligence uh, spot, so that should be pretty nice for us. <coughs> Descent. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. We have two Courageous and a Ball Ballistic. Yeah, probably Ballistic. That looks like it's that uh, annoying missile carrier, so I have to be rather careful about that. Let's see if we can get... No, my accuracy is not much improved from my hiatus. If we can get a couple of shots. Maybe. Doesn't seem like it. Did land a couple. Alright, let's get out of the way. And yes, I was right about that missile carrier, which I believe is probably our most dangerous opponent. Let's see what we can do. One down. Two down. Keep an eye on our morale as it did sink down to eight, but our finger mark four. Hmm. Veteran pilot. Maneuverability is life in this. Um, I think we'll go with what we said at the beginning. We well much as I would like to search for survivors, we need the fuel tanks and we can't get both with the time left there. Uh, I think we'll call that here for this episode, just keep it nice and short. Uh, but well, yes, I know. This will impact our kindness world, we'll be fine. Uh, next time we'll start off with a fight at a cod. So, thank you all for hanging around, and we will uh, see you again real soon.